It was so sad because he he got killed by a um, a stingray. Yeah. If if Matthew Perry died by getting stung in the chest with a stingray, we'd be like, oh, "You're <laughs> dope, dude." The boy who lives. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> the boy who lives. <laughs> do you think that's, do you think that's an accent, or do you think that's uh? <laughs> I know this much is true. Uh, do you think that's an accent from Voldemort? Or do you think that's just all the makeup covering his nose? Do you think the whole day he's like, I think it would sound like <laughs> this. Could I have some coffee, please? <laughs> While we wait. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. I wonder if he still has snot. Has snot? Yeah. Like the actor? No, the character. Oh, you wonder if he, he produces snot. Yeah. He has holes in his face. Yeah, but like, would it be aired out? Because there's just big holes I in don't his think face. so. I got a really messed up nose with a bunch of big holes, and they're always clogged. hey oh. I guess if you're a wizard, you could unclog your nose pretty easily. Yeah, maybe that's his daily spell in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Unclogosaur. Unclogio! <laughs> What'd you say? Unclogosaur. Unclogosaur. Yeah. You seem tired. You seem like you're gassing out already. Oh, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sorry we waited. It's okay. Uh, it's been a busy day. You needed a couple hours to break. <laughs> <laughs> I've been busy. I'm really busy. Yeah, we've both been busy all day. We've both been busy all day, yeah. I meant in the last hour I've been busy. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. What were you doing again? I was going to, I've got a big exam tomorrow. I was just getting stuff ready and then I was calling the kids to say goodnight. And I, right. just, I wanted a mental break from talking right. into a microphone because we, we were recording something today. Yeah. That took a long time. My brain just felt a little fried. Okay. Sorry we waited. I know it's almost, it's creeping up on 8.15. Yeah. <laughs> it's way past your time of, uh, of consciousness. Time of glory. Time of glory. <laughs> All I want right now is chocolate. Yeah. Oh, good thing you're not going to be able to get it because uh, we're stuck on this for a while. For forever. <laughs> for forever, it seems like. Welcome to Samurai Dude Talking. I'm Sam. She's right. And we're not done talking yet. Stick around. We just around. started talking. And that's Bobby behind the camera. Hi, guys. Let's go past it. Yeah. Every time. Every, Every goddamn time. time. You got a camera. We, we, we were able to record something today. You got a camera, but it doesn't record long enough to do a yeah, podcast. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Bobby. for 20 minutes. Good job, Bobby. Yeah, that's what we need. 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes, you'd be like, just wait a second. One second. Pause for one second. Okay, go okay, again. Okay, same energy. Go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Keep, finish your sentence. <laughs> okay, just repeat that one sentence again, and then we'll splice it together. They won't even know. They won't even know. They're yeah. a bunch of dummies. Our audience is a bunch of dummies. That's exactly what Bobby said. And we were like, Bobby, we're those like, are Bobby. Our those audience, are our audience is the smartest. They're the smartest they're thinkers so smart. in the world. And Bobby's like, no, they're idiots. They're so dumb. Yeah, he's been getting aggressive. Yeah, he thinks that you guys are really dumb. Yeah, that's what but, he tells us at least. Yeah. Yeah. So. So how anyways. you doing? <laughs> So tired. Yeah, I know. That decaf didn't wake you up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that decaf hot chocolate iced coffee didn't wake you up. Yeah. You're not a decaf frio hot chocolate iced coffee. <laughs> I wanted decaf coffee for the pot, but somebody took too long <laughs> to want to serve the pot, so I drank it all immediately. Anyways, long story short, uh, we didn't have milk, but we did have chocolate milk. So yeah. I put chocolate milk in it and guess what? It was too overpowering and it just tasted like chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Like there's just, hidden decaf coffee in it. Yeah. I was just drinking chocolate milk. It'll, it'll perk you right up. I put some cinnamon in it to try to make myself think it was coffee. That's smart. I think the weight of the chocolate milk is making me sleepy. Maybe. Yeah. There's gotta I be tryptophan in chocolate such a little amount in though. Milk. Yeah. Such a little amount. Such a little amount, bro. It's just a puny toony amount. Um, want to talk about best and worst? Yeah, I do. Okay, what's your best? What's your best? What's your worst? What's your worst? And do your, your best? worst. Do your best. <laughs> uh, my best. Bye. 
was I think today, I think the latter part of today. Yeah. I don't know how that's, if that's how people say it. I don't know what the former of latter is, but the latter <laughs> part of today. working on stuff today? I liked working on stuff today. I like that we were both kind of in a weird headspace this morning and we, uh, we got out of it. We, went to, we walked to a little coffee shop. We had a little mm. business meeting. We, we should have kept our receipts. <laughs> Could have written all this sweet cash money off. <laughs> oh, no. Business uh, right off. Business manager, you got to tell us that. So. Anyway, that's probably the best part. We went there, and then uh, we re- we rode that wave. We got back into a good headspace. We wrote some jokes. Yeah. We filmed some stuff, which was fun. Yeah. And uh, we actually accomplished a task that we've been wanting to do. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. I know. I'm excited about it. I'm so it's excited really I started editing after we did it, and that's what took us so long to start doing this. So that's why you're gassed out, because I got excited to set all of it up. I was what like, I'm mean? just going to get the videos in the editor. Yeah. I also felt like we don't have much time to get this done, but yeah. we have all the time in the world to get that done. I got excited. So, and I know that too. And I was like, should I just let him ride that wave? No. Should I just let him edit that until he's done? But then at the same time, I wanted to like get my night started if yeah. you were going to do that. So I needed to ask you, yeah. are you, is that your plan is for that tonight? Your plan? Yeah. Because, like, we could make it work, I guess. We could figure out a way to do the pod at some other point. Yeah. Like, the, like tomorrow we could have done it late. Yeah. I still, it's still a, uh, I mean, the how, I mean, we may be able to do a pod late tomorrow anyway. Just mm-hmm. the Halloween tomorrow. But you made a good point. Like, we're going to be busy with kids. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe it was a bad idea to turn this on right now, but we're going to do it. We're in it. Yeah, we're in it. I'm just explaining that, like, yeah, I almost I almost let you ride that wave. I yeah. was like, I should just let him edit because if he's in it right now, yeah. it's so hard to get back in it. Yeah, I mean, I should probably, instead of either of those, study for my licensing exam tomorrow. For sure. But instead, yeah, we did. I did the first thing I definitely shouldn't have done, and then this thing is something that I I could I should I should do what? because tomorrow is going to be a little busy. You're going to work. And then once you're done work, we're going to go do trick-or-treating, basically. Yeah, so the pod was definitely the most important yeah. thing, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, we just I just delayed it. My, my brain felt really full after an hour of yeah. doing jokes. Yeah. So, um, an hour of doing jokes? What could that be? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got this. You got to figure it out. Um, but I also was looking forward to like going to another coffee shop. Yeah. And you editing and me finding and editing pictures and stuff. Yeah, it. we're going to have to do that. I haven't edited anything. Yeah, that's So it's just great. literally just finally up there so I can actually edit. I was yeah. just trying to see how it works for a we second. We could do that like on Thursday or something. Yeah, Thursday sounds great. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Sounds fun. Sounds good. Sounds, sounds good, bro. Sounds good too. Yeah, I might. I'm sure there's going to be more to edit, but I'm pretty excited about editing. Though. Okay. So I might that might be edited before that, but we can always go to that coffee shop okay. again. And I, we can write jokes. We can we can find oh because you need I to find the to pictures. Find pictures. You need to do that, and then I'll need to put them in anyway. So yeah, we'll do that. I mean, that. we can try and do that. Like if you start editing tomorrow, yeah. I'll try and find pictures for you. So that. But honestly, I gotta slice it in. all up, and then we gotta figure out what pictures we need anyway. Yeah, I mean, I can figure out the pictures before though. Yeah. And to, while you're editing. Yeah. Your mom's like, keep going. No, talk more about keep the talking about a mystery <laughs> project that you guys are working and on and discussing how you're gonna do it eventually. God, I'm so tired that I this know. is what we have. This is the content tonight. Yeah, sorry, we got to fill an hour, guys. I don't want to be here. Nobody wants to be <laughs> here. You guys don't want to be here. <laughs> so that was your best part. What was That's your my worst best part. part? Um, your worst part of this whole week. The whole week, probably the morning, the the la- the, the former. Of today, <laughs> I was gonna say my other best part was I started hockey last week and I've played hockey a bunch and uh, I've got a few goals and I I haven't vomited yet, so that's been good. That, that is definitely part. in the best category. Yeah, um, yeah, that was my worst part probably. Just trying to, well, I don't really want to talk about what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so why bring it uh, up? <laughs> that, that was my worst part. So another worst part. Um, that was pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. You have a worst part? Do you have a best part? You could just say that you had a disagreement with somebody. I had a disagreement with somebody. <laughs> and it wasn't fun. It wasn't the most fun in the world, but we got past it. It made it's the okay. morning kind of frustrating for you. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, yeah, anyways, my best part was probably also today. Yeah? 
It was really fun. Um, what did we do yesterday? Meal prepped. We hung. We had a great day yesterday. Oh, we had a nice night yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was going to be my best part if we didn't like succeed in actually doing the things we thought we were going to do for a while. Yeah. Today we had a really good day. Today it was really productive. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad. Like we worked. I felt like we worked really hard. I yeah, felt we really did. good about today. Yeah. Yesterday was very cute and very fun as well, though. Mm-hmm. I felt we like watched, a little date. Yeah, we had a little date and we watched Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. We've been watching sushi. a ton of Harry Potter. Yeah, I've got sushi. It was yeah, a good day. I want to get into that. I've been watching Harry Potter for yeah. the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, what's this about? <laughs> yeah, I, I've i seen... I know what Harry Potter is. I've seen the first two, I think, when I was a kid. And yeah. maybe like... I think snippets. I might have seen snippets of the fourth one yeah. or something. Now that I've watched it again, I'm like, oh, it looks familiar. Yeah. But I've never really paid attention to the story. Like, I've never watched them all the way through. Mm-hmm. And then um, my friends like Harry Potter. And I know that so many people are like, what house are you in? <laughs> and then also, I'm, I am love Lego. Yeah. And there's so many cool Harry Potter Legos. Yeah, you actually said that. You're like, I want to get into Harry Potter. And I said, why? And you're like, because there's so many cute Lego Harry Potters. And I don't get it yet. <laughs> and I need to watch the movie so I can <laughs> you know buy the Lego. And cool is I get all of it now. And yeah. I'm not even on the last movie yet. Yeah. But like the Patronus. Yeah. You know that spell with like the deer? Yeah. The big lit up deer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Lego. That is a Lego. It's a big blue deer that's cool it's so cool we can get it and tell the girls it's elsa's uh yeah no i'm good (laughs) and then dobby has like the book with the sock in it and like the little the cake that Mm -hmm. he throws at the lady or whatever he does dumps it on the lady there's a lot of easter easter eggs in there so many easter eggs and i love knowing all the inside jokes i like being on the inside Mm -hmm. i don't like being on the outside i would love a snake one I would love a big snake. I think there is a, not a big snake, but there's a little snake. Oh, that's okay. I, I, I'd do with a little snake. A Snape. little snake. Yeah. I um, love Alan Rickman. What's that? I love Alan Rickman. Yeah. I rewatched this with you. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen most of them, but I don't remember a lot of them. I kind of yeah. remember what happens. Yeah. But I don't, like, I just haven't been enjoying watching Alan Rickman because he's dead. Very sad. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been enjoying the Harry Potters. I'm really liking them. Uh, turns out I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a Ravenclaw. If anybody's interested, and apparently I'm a hint of Slytherin, is mm-hmm. what I've been told by friends who are fans of the show. Mm-hmm. They said I'm Ravenclaw with a hint of Slytherin. Mm-hmm. And what do you think you are? I again? think I'm a. Ra- I'd like to be a Ravenclaw with like or a Hufflepuff. I'd pro- I'd pro- they probably like I'm like Ravenclaw, and he's like. Hufflepuff, the the hat. Right. That's what I feel is going to happen. Um, Gary Gallman's got a great joke where he goes, I have a Ravenclaw body with a Hufflepuff soul. Oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's a big, tall, like a football player type guy. He's really soft. And Ravenclaws are football types? They're just strong. Like, they, they'll get the job done. Mm, they're tough dudes. I didn't know that. But they're not, they're not dickheads about it. But they're also not high up on themselves. Like, uh, what's the other one? What's Harry's? Gryffindor. Gryffindor, yeah. They're like, they're just badasses. Oh. Yeah. So I'm a big, strong badass? You're a big, strong badass. You're just a little strong badass. I've heard that they're like creative and smart mm-hmm. and sneaky and stuff as Ravenclaw. Yeah. I haven't heard the big, strong badasses stuff. That's what I like to think. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. Right in. Honestly, I don't know. There's not that many Ravenclaw characters in that whole Harry Potter series. So I don't know exactly. how people are like determining this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's a way of saying that they don't know what we are. You're a little bit of a Ravenclaw. <laughs> you don't really a Ravenclaw or a Hufflepuff. I don't, I don't really know. get what you're doing over there, but <laughs> you're one of those two. Hufflepuff seems like Kirby to me. Kirby? You know Kirby? Like the <laughs> like Kirby Kirby. The yeah, pink like the thing? pink one. Yeah, I guess he'd be that's a Hufflepuff. That's what Hufflepuff sounds like to me. Okay. Hufflepuff, because he like... <gasps> you know what oh, I yeah. mean? He huffs and he puffs. He huffs, he huffs and he puffs. He huffles and he puffles. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Do you ever play it. Club Penguin? Club Penguin? No, I haven't. Oh, oh wait, is that like the um, computer game? Yeah. Uh, no, but I've I saw the I saw the Dragon's Den thing about it. What? <laughs> the guy that was on Dragon's Den, he he created that. That's where he got his like start, and he and he got. What made year a, was that? <laughs> it was on. a while. I don't know. He he made a billion dollars. 
Yeah, it, I was, he, it wasn't, he wasn't playing... on Dragon's Den. The guy that was the dragon started it. Oh, I thought you meant so he, talked he about was it a little on... Bit. He's like, whenever I started the penguin thing, I was doing pretty good. Now I'm in business. I thought you meant he was he was pitching Club no. Penguin. And I was like, what? How <laughs> long is... someone give me a million dollars to create this crappy video game. <laughs> How long has Dragon's Den been a thing? <laughs> it's been on for a while. <laughs> like since I was a kid, though? Yeah, I think so. Really? Like early you, you, 2000s? You, well, like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> right as always. <laughs> um, yeah, Club Penguin, you had, I think you had Puffles were your pets. Oh, cute. So, that's cute. So that's what I was... That and they were little Puffballs. When you hear that there's like Puffle Hunters. Yeah, I had, puff, I had Puffles. Wait, what are you saying? Like people hunt seals and penguins. They hunt Puffles. They had pet puffles. Yeah, and it's probably a I real thing. I think that's what they were called. Don't quote me. I might be wrong. Gun to your head. What's it called? Maybe they're called fuzzies. <laughs> I don't know. They're Either little, fuzzies or puffles. They're little puff balls, so I'm assuming it's puffles. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> right. As uh, I wanted to bring up uh, Alan. I wanted to talk about Alan Rickman because I love yeah. him. I, t- I told you. But have we told the listeners? Have we talked about Alan Rickman, how he died? No, we haven't talked about Alan Rickman once. And that's because I've never watched Harry Potter. And now we need to talk about him. Because you know what? The other day... The other day... We, you were like, what's your favorite Harry Potter character so far? And oh, I was yeah. like, hmm, let me think, let me think. And I thought about it. I thought about it for a while. And then she and thought I about said, it. <laughs> and I said, Snape. Yeah. And you were like, what? That's, no friggin' no way. No friggin' way. That's mine, I that's said. That's mine. So I says to her, I said, that's mine. That's my favorite kill. No friggin' way. Snape's my favorite. No friggin' way, bro. <laughs> no friggin' way. Snape, Severus Snape is my favorite Severus character. Severus Snape is my favorite character. <laughs> Is that, is that uh, a British person from New Jersey? <laughs> Just took a right turn No there. way. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I was talking about, uh, I was just thinking about him because he, because cause, uh, Chandler Bing died, uh, Matthew Perry died. And I was thinking about how, it, for some reason, it made me think of Snape because he's dead too. It made me sad. Yeah. And uh, if people don't know that he, he knew he had cancer and he didn't tell anybody. And for the first, uh, like for a few months before leading up to his death, he knew he was dying pretty soon. Mm-hmm. And he would just show up at all of his friends' houses in the middle of, the, not in the middle of the night, like in the evening. Um, with like a bottle of wine and he was just like, Hey, you want to have like a dinner party? You want to have wine or whatever? He would sit with them and hours. He would laugh with them and tell jokes or whatever, mm-hmm. and give them a great night. And then he was, still wouldn't tell them. And then he left. And then the next day he would go to someone else's house. Still wouldn't tell them he was sick. Wouldn't tell him he was dying. And he did that to all of his friends. And they never found out that he was dying until he died. They went to his wake and everyone's like, the last time I saw him was when he just showed up unannounced and we had a great dinner party and a great night. And everyone's like, me too. I just think that's a dope Snape thing to do. It's so cute. It's so Snape. I'm getting chills. <laughs> I know. Chills. Yeah. Matthew Perry didn't quite do that. <laughs> do that. No, but Poor that's guy. so tragic. Tragic deaths hurt me. I know. They hurt me bad. Yeah, I know. And you didn't, you weren't even a Friends fan. I'm not a Friends fan. I don't even care about Yeah. Those and you people. don't really <laughs> care usually, but it, I think that was a really tragic, tragic thing. Tragic deaths are hard for my brain to comprehend, yeah. like that that person is now missing from the world. Mm-hmm. My brain likes to overanalyze that. Like Kobe Bryant dying. Oh, that's crazy. My brain's just like spiraling. Like that person, you're never going to be able to see that person. You're never going to be able to see that person. Yeah. That person's gone from this world. You're never going to see them do anything yeah. else ever again. Mm-hmm. It's so hard for my brain to like figure that out. Yeah. It doesn't like it. Yeah. Short circuits itself. I know. And it affects people for a long time. Like, look at Paul Walker, still affects people. That, that guy, one I really I, didn't get. It didn't get. I didn't. I mean, I, I don't know. I can I, I tell watched, you? Yeah. I don't know how he died. Oh, you don't know how Paul. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know who Paul Walker is? Like, I know he's from Fast and Furious. I've never watched a Fast and Furious movie. So he was like the main guy. And in Fast I don't and even Furious. really know what he looks like. Vin Diesel was like number two. I to know him. that a lot of people are like really sad about it. I yeah. know that this was really sad. I don't you know don't why. Know how he died? <laughs> no. Oh my god! Was he being too Fast and Furious? He was being too Fast and Furious, Riley. It got real furious in the end. <laughs> he was at like a car show. Okay. And he ju- he was just like, oh, just it was. I think it was him and another guy. I'm not sure if it was him, just him, uh, if it was his car, what it was. He got into a souped up cool car. I don't. People are gonna hate. I don't know what kind of car it was. 
he died forever ago. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he got into this car and he just kind of like drove, he went to go speed off, lost control right away and smashed into a pole. It was like a Ferrari or something. And it burst into flames and he burnt to death. Oh. He couldn't get out. Just It locked him in there. It burst into flames and he died. Ew. Yeah. Like he, he burned to death. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. That's so hot. Yeah. That's really, <laughs> that's, 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 cool. that's hot. <laughs> well, that's pretty hot. No, that's, that's like... That, that's, that's sounds tragic. His skin method. And he was like a healthy, young, act, like very successful actor. Blech. So sad. Ew. And he'd already had so many Fast and Furiouses. He, he knew how to be fast. He knew how to be furious. And it just lost control for some reason. I think it was. I think there was another driver. And he was a passenger. I don't think he drove it. And it was just, oh. they lost control, hit a pole, burst into flames. I could be wrong. We could look it up if you die with somebody. But, like, it's awful. That's I don't know. Let's, let's hope he died in the crash. Like, let's hope he just died. Right. Or got knocked out or something. Or at right. least suffocated. Yeah. Because that's that quick, you know? You just go to sleep. Yeah. But either, yeah, it's awful. But can we want to talk about Chandler? Want to talk about Matthew Perry? Yeah, that's so sad. I know. You want to stay Drowned? on it? Drowned? Dra- oh, I thought you were talking about that. You're still on uh, Paul Walker being sad. No, that's both. They're all sad. Yeah, I Matthew don't Perry like is tragic so sad. deaths. I'm not sure. I was looking into it more, and I'm not sure if he drowned or had a heart attack. Yeah, I yeah. heard that he might have. Which I mean, have a heart attack. Cardiac arrest. Or usually, something. usually, usually you're dying. I mean, he could have drowned and had a heart attack, which is a double whammy. Double whammy. Double freaking whammy, dude. Double V. But I feel I feel the same way of Matthew Perry as I do with Steve Irwin. It just like that yeah. guy was riding had ridden so many drugs. Yeah. To die like that. He he thought that he should have died from drugs. He said something about he, when if he did he, if he would have died, people would have been surprised but they wouldn't have been shocked or something like that yeah because of how many drugs he was doing he yeah. thought he was gonna die doing i think drugs. everyone assumed it was he was drugs or alcohol in the hot tub yeah freaking died clean clean good job buddy he was he just had a hard time pickleball. pickleball he was a little overweight yeah and but he was healthy yeah healthier he was, it, you see the pictures of him healthier yeah, pretty i think that was the drugs though i think that was oh, pre yeah. i think that was Damage was done at that point. Yeah. Well, he was real skinny when it came to the drugs. And Friends, yeah. he looked like a stick. Yeah. You could see his bones he was saying in his face. That. Yeah. I just watched something he was saying. That. Yeah. You see, for the, I think the, like he felt third bad. season through fourth season, whatever, he was he he was just flying. Like he was he was like Robin Williams. Like he was really funny. He was my favorite friend. Oh man. He was one of my friends. Oh man. He's my favorite, and it sucks that he's gone. Yeah, he felt bad for himself. He was watching himself back, and he's like, it's really hard to watch that. Yeah, he's ashamed of, of being on drugs and doing that whole stuff. But you know what? He got clean. And yeah. there's a lot of people that didn't, you know? Yeah. And then he gave him a lot of stuff. I know a lot of people don't know what else he did. He was in um, Sunset City. No. Um, some In the Sunset Strip. Radio City in the Sunset Strip. Something like that. It's a great show. Mm. Look up Sunset Strip. Um, <laughs> it was like a Siren Live type behind the scenes. He was like an executive producer and a writer really good and then he's in almost heroes with chris farley now they're both dead that's one of my favorite movies and they're both dead Mm -hmm. so sad so sad but yeah who else is tragic who else is tragic will smith's something relationship something about him his career his ego (laughs) his uh what's that called your his girlfriend's ex-boyfriend died very tragically you're um she'll get there i don't i don't know I okay don't know. will smith something oh his uncle phil no no he, he died like a heart attack like his legend his 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 je ne sais quoi his je ne sais quoi <laughs> his his something his, his essence, soul soul uh, his name his legacy something about him his legacy he died tragically yeah on that stage on what stage? Chris Rock's stage. No. You don't think that? When did you think it broke? When Jada's book came out. <laughs> yeah. The Freaking fir- poor man. I know. Man, that sucks, dude. <laughs> I think we. I think we give him a pass. Oh, I give him a pass. I give for him a sure. pass, man. We like. We. I think we. I think the Oscars should just a cumulative. Like we get it. Like, brutal. We get it, dude. Just. Just brutal. brutal. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. 
these jokes would be a lot funnier if I wasn't tired. Just okay. I just want everybody to be aware that this would have been a really funny podcast if I was not exhausted. I think it's been good. Don't judge yourself. I'm just... What, I'm sure we're near the end. What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes left. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> stretch. We're going to stretch. Will Smith's what? <laughs> let's think about this. Let's, let's really think let's about really it. Let's really think about it. But yeah. Me- me- remember when... Uh, what, do you remember... How old were you? Wait. How old were you when Steve Irwin died? Do you know who Steve Irwin is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. I used to watch Steve Irwin all the time. Okay. Crikey. Crikey. It was so sad. Because he... Like, it was... Uh, he got killed by a, um, a stingray. Yeah, everybody thought it was a cro- It should have been yeah. a crocodile. I whatever. mean, he still died. Like, it was pretty badass to get stabbed in the chest by a stingray. Oh, for but sure. But not when you're a crocodile hunter. Yeah. If, if Matthew Perry died by getting stung in the chest with a stingray, we'd be like, oh, freaking, <laughs> freaking dope, dude. Um, He died in 2006. Yeah. So I would have been like nine. Turning 10? Turning 10. Oof. September fourth, two thousand six. I was turning nineteen. I turned nineteen. <laughs> All right. I was in college when he died. <laughs> I was skipping. Sorry, I was skipping college when he died. <laughs> I was in elementary school. <laughs> I dropped out of two things at that. Point. No, I remember that one. I remember that one hit me like a freaking ton of bricks, yeah. dude. Especially at that age, because at that point he's like, "You're like, tell me about the world and animals, Steve Irwin." Oh yeah, like I watched him on the TV. We yeah. loved him. Our family, like, oh, that's we like were into Blippi that. dying right now for kids. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, don't, I honestly don't know who Blippi is. Don't know who Blippi is. You shouldn't. I've heard that he's amazing. He's okay. He get he's hook he he, he, he hooks you. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to he tried to get out. Did you hear Blippy tried to get out of being Blippy? He's like, I'm gonna create this character. He's he made millions of dollars on YouTube. He was a comedian. Yeah, and he then told it, me that. then it uh, then it came to light that he took a shit on the stage, um, for a bit, and then like they found out that Blippy took a shit on the stage as a comic. And they're trying to cancel him. He wrote that. He got out pretty good. But then he's like, once this name is made, he's actually really smart how he came up with Blippi. Once once his name's made, he was going to get an actor to play him. And he was going to get out of it. That actor sucked. Mm-hmm. And now he's come back in. He's going to come back in and be Blippi because there's no one else. Both. But he made Mika, which is a girl. And so he can kind of like take a little break. Yeesh. She's good too, though. All right. I don't know what we're talking about. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about tragic deaths. Oh, yeah. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. That was sad. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't, tra- I, it was, if anything, I felt, I know that he was probably like out of his misery. Relief. Yeah. Out of his miserably. Out of his misery. Out of his misery. <laughs> misery. <laughs> that was sad, but it was almost like, okay. Oh, that poor guy. Sense. That makes sense. It's yeah. like somebody having cancer. Yeah. How crazy is it that what's his face has so, like, real bad. Cancer? <laughs> <laughs> like Alzheimer's, like dementia. Oh, What's Will Smith? Face? I don't know. Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, also we're Will Smith. So Poor Will tired. Smith. Yeah, we're tired. Uh, Bruce Willis. Yeah, he's S- getting bad. He's not verbal anymore. Yeah. So sad. So sad. Apparently, uh, he went to something and looked really confused. Like oh, I'd just... rather a stingray hit him in the chest. I I'd know. T- he's a freaking hero of mine. That's I really love Die crazy. Hard. One of my favorite movies is, uh, I mean, he was in the Last Boy Scout, but Hudson Hawk, underrated Bruce Willis movie. One of Never my favorite Bruce Willis movies. Never seen any of those. It was a flop, but I Never loved it. Never seen that or the other one you said, Hard? Die Hard? Die Hard? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen any of the eight Die Hards? <laughs> no. It's my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, we should watch it. Everybody Alan says, Rickman. Everybody says it's my favorite Alan Christmas Rickman. movie. Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman plays a German guy because they're like... Scary German guy is okay if he's British. We'll just say he's German. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's, he plays a bad guy in it. He's great. Sounds good. To National me. hero. We also watched Love uh, Love Actually. Alan Rickman's great in that too. Yeah, me and you watched Love Actually. Can, do you want to hear my opinions? Yeah, you didn't like it? <laughs> you couldn't understand any words they said. We had to watch it with subtitles. They're English. I'm not good at accents. I need <laughs> subtitles if there's going to be an accent. But, um, I didn't love it. That's fair. 
I don't know how it's one of your favorite movies. Like the storylines weren't that developed. It moved really quickly and yeah. it was just, I couldn't connect to any of the characters. Yeah. Watching it back, it was like when you see a star studded cast and they're like, oh, we got to give everybody time. Yeah. Now, like I get that. I've watched it so many times and I would listen to it because I was a hopeless romantic as a kid. Yeah, and, and my I sister understand. loved it so much, and she sold it on me. So I think I get it. Watching it back with you, I was like, oh. And especially since the entire time, all you hear is "Brikey, Brikey, 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 Brikey." <laughs> I get why you didn't like it. <laughs> I understand those types of movies. Like, there's a movie called like New Year's or or New Year's something. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking with, like, of. Like Zac Efron and stuff like yeah. that. That movie, I like that movie. It's really fun. All right. <laughs> why? <laughs> they spoke in a language you could understand. Yeah, so I'm just saying that I like that type of movie. Okay. I like it. I cannot say that it's like a great movie. Right. It's not amazing One of your to me right. because there's too many storylines in it yeah. that it's fun to watch once in a while. Yeah. It's a mind numbing movie, but I'm like, I can't. Yeah, okay, I get it. I think I know why. I, th I thought that Snape was going to like cheat on the wife and something was going to happen there, but nothing ever happened. It was just mainly tension. It was just, it, the whole movie was just tension that never got broken. Yeah. And I was like, what is happening? And then you'd think it gets broken for a minute. Like those guys finally kiss or something. Like she invites him back to his, oh, yeah. to her house and then she has to go take care of her and brother. And then it's over. And then it's, it's over. over. And, and then they never address it again. They never address it. You're right. Later they're like, he's, she's like, hi Carl. And he's like, hmm. And then that's it. I was like, what? You're right. Yeah. You're ruining my, one of my favorite movies. But, <laughs> uh, well, I think the reason I like it is I like, uh, I like the way words sound. I like a lot of the. I think there's a lot of funny lines in it. Yeah. And it and like I I play those those lines over in my head all the time right. for different things. And, and also it's like a movie my sister quotes all the time, so maybe that's why I like it. Yeah. Because I know all the little quotes from it, and you're not going to hear that by listening to it once. And it would have been really annoying if I paused it every time and I was like, "Did you hear what he said?" <laughs> No, but you did repeat every line that you thought was good <laughs> throughout mean, it. I didn't mean to. You never talk to me. You, you only never, talk to Peter. You never talk to me. Listen, I've That's I've watched Mike the movie once Keira and Knightley. I can quote the dumbest line. Yeah. <laughs> That's my Kira Knightley. You never talk to me. You always talk to Peter. <laughs> she doesn't even say it like that. I know. It's completely bastardized. <laughs> Falafel pie. <laughs> so dumb so yeah i'm sorry i didn't i wish that i liked it more than i did <laughs> yeah that's fair but if you go back and pause it and then listen really closely and play it you'll hear that great line it's it's dumb i don't know why i liked it yeah i, I think it, watching the stuff back like i've watched other things where i'm like oh i liked it just because no one liked me and i just liked to be a part of love when i was a kid <laughs> i loved um, romantic comedies which like i totally get romantic comedies yeah. i love romantic comedies i love those types of like movies that are a star-studded cast that's yeah. just a bunch of different storylines another one is uh he's just not that into you oh yeah just a bunch of storylines yeah. and stuff like that where they're kind of connected but not really that like was pretty good too i like those movies yeah. For some reason, Love Actually doesn't do it, doesn't yeah. do anything with it. Yeah. At least those ones had like either happy endings or really sad endings yeah. or something happened where like it was wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Whereas Love Actually was just like, there might be a part two, but there's not. There's not. <laughs> it's like, we should probably make a part two, but Yeah, you're right. Cares? It was watching it back. They were just rushing through it. Yeah. Like, okay, now this is a part. And then and now they're together. Like now halfway through, I was like, wait who's this yeah. and you're like oh this is a new guy and i was like like this is his brother his <laughs> you know what's happening his she just he just came home early from the wedding he found his brother and he's cheating on his his, his wife's cheating on him with his brother and that's how he's finding out but right you've now. only actually seen this as character one other time in the movie so far so but Let, you no, should already the know first time and he, he you only know because colin first says hi brother as he yeah. walks in <laughs> And I was like, Didn't oh. Didn't you get the character development? <laughs> I think I thought that, or I might have said it out loud at least once, where I was like, this movie moves really fast. Yeah. Because it was just like, you gotta you keep gotta up. You gotta keep up. Yeah. But yeah, no, I like those types of movies. I love romantic comedies. Yeah. I, I get it. That one I didn't get. Okay. Uh, favorite romantic comedy. Not favorite. Just give me a romantic comedy you like. Um, ooh, romantic comedy that I like. Like I like, like, a, like a like a one that you're like not a, like no not many people would like it, like one of those where you're like this is like a guilty pleasure romantic comedy maybe. Um, I like 
How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. Okay. I like Failure to Launch. So all all of him, <laughs> all of uh, what's his name, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Okay, keep Matthew going. Matthew McConaughey is the king of romantic comedies. Okay. Um, Fool's Gold. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. All right. <laughs> Dazed and confused. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I like I like I actually do like. He's just not that into you. Yeah, it's a good I movie. like that movie. It's a good movie. Um, what else? What else? What else? Pro- there's probably more that I can't yeah, really think of. That's but fair. Those are just. Did you you never got into like Adam Sandler's romantic comedies, eh? With Drew Barrymore, like like wedding wedding singer. Not wedding singer. I know like Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Dates. That's a great one. That one's yeah, that's fine. a good one. Um, Did you ever watch like Click or Spanglish? You ever watch Spanglish? No, that's I really I've good. watched Click. Okay. Everybody told me that it was bad, so I was like, "Yeah, it's so bad," but I loved it. It's good. When I watch, first watched it, I was There's like, oh, "This is it. really good." And then everybody's like, "It's so dumb," and I was like, "Yeah." Yeah. But I kept watching it secretly. <laughs> oh, so that's your guilty pleasure, is Click. <laughs> I like Click. Um, Adam Sandler. Well, I like Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston together. Okay. I yeah. like their movies together. Yeah. Um, what was that one? Where he's her, the, he, she's her, his assistant or something like that, or yeah, like he's a plastic surgeon. Yeah, and they have to go, um, but they go on like vacation. vacation she, yeah. He he pretends that she's his ex-wife, yeah, or something because yeah. he wore his wedding ring, right? Um, I don't remember what that's called. I can't remember either. But yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Mm-hmm. The kid in it is so funny that she wants to be an actor. Yeah, and she's she's, she's like she wants this. to have a British accent. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I was like you. Hello. And he's like, no. <laughs> Tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. <laughs> um, yeah. Did you ever see, uh, you prob- you're probably too young for this, um, Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore had one, uh, and it's called Fever Pitch. I've never seen anything Jimmy Fallon. I didn't know that Jimmy Fallon did movies. Oh, yeah. He did a few movies. No I think idea. he only did one. It was Fever Pitch. Yeah, he's doing fine. Yeah, except for Except for not doing fine, yeah. Oh, they're all, they're probably all drunks. Apparently, he's a real drunky drunk. Yeah. Drunky poo. When you got that much money, why not? Drunky skunk. Why not? I don't know. That's what my plan is. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. <laughs> you got that much money? Sounds pretty great. <laughs> why wouldn't you? <laughs> I look up to Burt Kreischer. <laughs> all right? <laughs> um, you got favorite rom- rom- rom-coms? Rom-coms. I'm just trying to... Th- Thing. I mean, I like Fever Pitch. I like Adam Sam. I like Wedding Singer is one of my favorites. Um, what else would there be? Uh, oh, you know what I actually really like? It, it was like a spoof one. Um, oh, what was it called? Uh, it was like a it was like a scary movie, but for rom coms. What was that called? date movie it's called date movie oh yeah you told me about that and uh people hated it and i loved it mm-hmm. i saw it once in the theaters and i remember it a ton of lines i think it's really funny interesting and be- it's basically like uh it's, it's just making fun of all of them but you get the same feeling of it with mm-hmm. like a scary movie vibe where they make fun of it just so go got- with it just go with it. it's great yeah that's the one with the with jennifer aniston yeah, yeah. um their new ones were good on Netflix. I the one the like, like the, the, the where they get mystery? lost. Or, yeah, murder I didn't. Mystery? I didn't love those. They're not, I mean, they're not great. But what about Four Christmases? Do you like that movie? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, okay. that is one of the best movies ever. Um, uh, one of the one of my favorite ones were definitely maybe with Ryan Reynolds. It wasn't so much a comedy. It's funny because he's he's I find him funny. I don't we don't like him, but uh, it's a great movie. Definitely maybe it pulls on your heartstrings. What's it about? Uh, it's um, Ryan what's, Reynolds. What's is, the one where he's fat? Oh, uh, yeah, that was a good one, too. I can't remember. Look that one up. I like that one. But um, definitely maybe is Ryan Reynolds talking to his daughter, and she he's telling her three stories of, like, important um, girlfriends oh, in his I've life. And that. he's like, I'm not going to tell you which one's your mom. Yes. But this is like... Cause I don't want to, I don't want to sway you, but like, yeah, this is, he's just trying to explain love to her. And he's like, this is my experience. And, uh, he's like, these are the three experiences I've had. One of them's your mom. Yes. I have seen that. That's one. a great movie. That's a good one. Definitely. Maybe I like that one. Mm-hmm. Is it, um, just friends? Just friends. Sounds yeah. Right. That's yeah. the one where he's, 
where he's chubby. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then his other one, he came out with uh, Sandra Bullock, Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. Yeah. That's a great movie too. That's a great movie. Tell me something. Proposal? Ba- yeah, the proposal. Tell me something bad that that guy's done. I know you oh, don't like him. I don't think he's done anything bad. Except I for don't Green think... Lantern. I didn't mind that one. I don't think he's done. I don't think he's like a bad actor or right. anything. I just don't like his face. I just think he's well, not cute. We disagree. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think he's cute. I don't... Buried? He, I Ball love that movie. Buried is, is so freaking intense. People thought Castaway was incredible because it was Tom uh, t- Tom Hanks by himself. He had a co-star. He had a co-star. He had Wilson. Yeah. This guy. I mean, I guess Ryan Reynolds had a co-star too. He had a, he had a phone. He had a phone. Friggin' barely. But he's literally stuck in a coffin the whole time. Yeah. It's intense. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Watch it. Go watch Go it watch today. It. Tomorrow. <laughs> get your wife. Get your kids. <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, no, I just don't like Ryan Reynolds. Like, and his comedy, like, it's just the same thing over and over again now. Yeah, he's and I'm quippy. Like, yeah. Uh, like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Do something else. Yeah. Like, it was, it was, it's like Kevin Hart. I'm like, it was funny. Now it's not. Yeah, that's how Do I feel with Kevin else. Hart, too. Yeah. So, it, it, he's still like I, I like watching him on the fly. He's funny, but like all of his stuff is the same. Ryan Reynolds you know, to me is, is, is doesn't Kevin change. Hart. Is white Kevin Hart? Is white Kevin Hart, but worse because Kevin Hart on the fly yeah. seems like he can be. He can have different. Well, because he's a comic too, though, yeah. right? So he's actually pretty funny. Yeah, he's good at it. Mm-hmm. Ryan Reynolds, I'm like that's the same. You're just riding on the same wave. Yeah. This whole time, and I yeah. don't like it. Yeah, you're quippy and direct, and also his face. That's so funny. You know what it Good thing I, you couldn't get a tra- face transplant because I would choose his. You know what his face reminds me of what? is the. Have you seen Santa Claus, two or three? The one with Jack Frost. Yeah, Jack Frost. Yeah, probably. Okay, go. Um, he makes copies. The Jack Frost makes copies of Santa Claus, and mm-hmm. they're all plastic Santa Clauses. The plastic Santa Claus looks like Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I I can see that. He just looks like a he like looks a like doll. plastic, like a doll. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, I'll go with Tom Hardy if I can ever get a face transplant. Then no, no. Well, if it comes with the accent, I could no. just do it for you. Then ya. I will never understand you. Oh yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fair. Look at <laughs> this is Ryan Reynolds to me. <laughs> <laughs> got a beard i can't see it <laughs> it's a nice it's a big it's a very plastic face yeah that's, that's what fair. ryan reynolds looks like to me. yeah that's fair <laughs> should that be the picture for today's up for this episode <laughs> yeah. it's just that and it's called like matthew perry's dad <laughs> matthew perry is steve Irwin. it's just called ryan reynolds and it's a picture of <laughs> plastic santa claus that's funny. um anyways i'll get into the podcast yeah, I guess. Did I say my worst part? No. Could say your worst part. My worst part is... Your mom's like, finally. And they're like, we didn't say the worst part. She's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my worst part in the whole wide world. Right. Take your time. Um, I ate three bowls of <laughs> Minecraft Lucky Charm cereal yesterday, and I didn't feel good about it. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of green. It was a lot of it, cinnamon listen, and green. I ate more Lucky Charm cereal last night than I have in my entire life, and I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, I've never eat, like, eaten Lucky Charm cereal mm-hmm. more than like trying a marshmallow, yeah. like one marshmallow. Yeah. and I've done that maybe twice. You said you like the cinnamon. Your first bowl, you're like, I actually don't mind the cinnamon. I really like that this one had cinnamon cereal like in it. Walks in it, yeah. And then the marshmallows on top of it. I like that you also knew before the th- any of the three bowls that it had been expired by a few weeks. <laughs> Not too long. Yeah. It was in the same month. Yeah. But still pretty funny. You're like, well, you're just eyeing it up all night. I know. It looked, I was just so curious because it said cinnamon cereal. And yeah. I was like, oh man, I don't know. I know that I'm, I'm not going to like that. So I'm not going to eat it. And I lasted a day. <laughs> And then the next day, I was like, like, I might I think need I to. I might like that. <laughs> I might need to try that at least. I can't go my whole life without having a bowl of Lucky Charms. Right. What am I supposed to do? Go my whole life without having a bowl of Lucky Charms cereal? Is that what you're supposed to do, everybody? Is that what you're supposed to do, Bobby? I couldn't handle that. 
Yeah, you couldn't. I couldn't be on my put it put that on my gravestone. She's never had lucky charms. Yeah, you don't want to die of a heart attack in a hot tub, and that's what people say about you. You didn't. She never had lucky charms. Yeah, never. Like say that at my funeral. Uh, you don't want that. I'd rather die. You'd rather be dead already. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a bowl of lucky charms, and mm. listen, after that I had another one, and guess what? After that one, one more. <laughs> And it was bigger than the rest. <laughs> yeah, I got one bowl. Thanks for pouring me a bowl. You're welcome. Yeah. Yours was with chocolate milk because I used all the milk. Yeah. Did you have any of your bowls with chocolate milk then? Nope. So you used all the milk? Yeah. Did you? Was the bowl that you had with me your third bowl? Yeah. Oh, wow. And you gave me the <laughs> chocolate. You're like, well, you're going to have to use chocolate milk. So bad news. Yeah. So I poured a bowl for me and then I poured a bigger bowl for you because oh, you're a big, gosh. strong I'm man. Big, big boy. Yeah. And then I had already put the milk in mine and mm-hmm. I was like, you're good with chocolate milk, right? And you're yeah. like, yeah. And I was like, great. No arguing. I'll just do that. Yeah. Otherwise, if you were like, no, I really need milk. <laughs> Then I would have been like, okay, I guess I'll have the big bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped on that bowl for you. No problem. Thanks. Oh, that's another one of our... Just get on with the episode! <laughs> uh, that was another good, uh, another good part of our week was we've been doing a really good job at, at eating well. We've, we've been eating so and healthy. We're, and we're coming up to we've... our two-week yeah Des- destruction days but we're we're handling it well i think we are gonna handle it well i haven't smoked once he hasn't a, smoked o- once i still Listen, haven't smoked once Mike. in october i'm like <laughs> <laughs> hope no one's wearing earphones just blows out their earphones oh, kaplowy. <laughs> kaplowy. <laughs> Owie, kaplowy, more like more like <laughs> More or less. Uh, yeah, I'm proud of us. I'm, I'm losing weight, and you're doing a good job. And I know yesterday, because we were talking about all the cereal we ate, that's it. Yeah, that was my night. Like, and we had an appropriate amount of sushi. I didn't finish my sushi. I finished your sushi. <laughs> you finished my sushi, which is okay, because I had three bowls of Lucky Charms. And I'm playing hockey like crazy, and I'm losing and my out. calories. Yeah, and you worked out. We're doing a good job. We're doing a really good job. Our two-week mark is usually where we hit a wall. Mm -hmm. And that's coming up in a few days. That's coming up on Friday of this week. Yeah. Friday, Saturday. Yeah. It's usually like a two-week mark of like, we don't have the kids. Mm -hmm. It's the end of a week, whatever. We're like, like, we deserve a little... We deserve a little... We deserve just a little... No, I won't say surprise. A little surprise. Not a surprise, (laughs) but a reward. I feel like I need a reward. A little treaty, treaty, pooty, poot. Yeah, but... But my counselor was like, why don't you make, why don't you have your treat, yeah. but make it a healthy treat? Yeah. So we were like, oh, sushi, yeah. which we did that yesterday. But I think that if we're still, like, if we want a treat on mm-hmm. Friday or Saturday, we should still do sushi. Mm-hmm. We should not let ourselves, like. No, I think we should do sushi on Saturday. Sushi it's the only thing sure. getting me through the week. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very excited about it. I also came up with a good idea. You can buy a single uh, Rice crispy Square from the gas station. Sure, it costs the same amount. As the whole box from the grocery store, from Costco. Costco. <laughs> but you get one; it's a little extra long, and I I hid it from you. And when you were sad, and I brought you out, and I was like, "You can have one." You don't even know where the other. And even if you find it, there's only two left. I know it was really nice that you did you that. Needed that. I was that day. so sad. I was on. I started my period. I was exhausted. I was yeah. so tired. I had two naps that day. Yeah. I like bleeding like crazy. And I kept being like, do you need me to get anything for you? And you're like, no. And you waited till everything was closed. So you're like, <laughs> yeah, I need some help. I'm like, great. Looks like I'm going to go to the gas station and buy pads. <laughs> I'm going to go to multiple gas station and look for pads. I wonder which one has ultra thin. I want you to know. Guess what? None I'm of them. so against. <laughs> I'm so against pads. I didn't want to use them. I was mad. I was angry. I haven't used pads since I was a fucking kid. Yeah. Like, I don't like them. They're gross. Yeah. But I was in dire need. Yeah. I <laughs> could not figure it you out. You were crying on the bed. I'm like, so what's the plan here? And you're <laughs> I was like, like I'm going to bleed I'm out like, everywhere. So I'm going to go do this now. Can you at least tell me what you want? Or I'm just going to guess. <laughs> I went to 7-Eleven and there was like, do you need something that'll stop a wound? Like, <laughs> like an, an artery, like arterial sick. bleed. Yeah. That's funny. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely we found don't, a place. I definitely don't need the super thick. And then when I was, it wasn't even a gas station. It was just a little corner store that uh, the kids call the treat store down the yeah. road. I went there and that's where they had the Minecraft cereal. And mm-hmm. that night Poppy was like, I want 
um, Lucky Charms and Paisley's Minecraft. And it was it wasn't like there's other cereal options there. <laughs> and so I was like, that's a score. And I saw yeah. it was expired, and I was like, whatever. And then I got to your Rice Krispie squares. Yeah, you got me a little Rice Krispie. So you you came to the bathroom. I was crying, and yeah. you gave me a little Rice Krispie, and it was really it nice. Perked you right up. It was really nice. Good good boyfriend. Very good boyfriend. Good boyfriend. Alert. Hey, you want to get into the podcast? <laughs> Sure. What are we gonna talk about today? <laughs> we have nothing to talk about. Wait, did you? Did you? We already know the answer. I was just gonna put you on the spot. Did you write? Did you come up with anything today? Uh, no. Great. <laughs> uh, we oh, we got time. We got some time. Uh, I wanted to show you something, and if you if you want to watch this with us, pause this, go to YouTube, and I want you to type in. We're gonna we're gonna watch this together, and it's gonna skip forward because we're not gonna have it all in this. You don't have to listen to it right now. All right. But uh, we're just gonna watch it, and the, if the, the stinkers want to pause it and watch it with us, it's go to YouTube and then type in Bread Bowl Bakers, and it's called We Made Bakers Watch Their Loaves Be Turned Into Bread Bowls. And Can I get some backstory on this? That's it. Like you just found this. I found this and I think it's the funniest thing in the world. I've only okay. seen, I saw like a clip of it on like a streaming, like, you know, like a, like TikTok or something. Like a TikTok. Yeah. Um, but I looked at the video. I'm like, oh, like it's a longer video. So it's a minute and a half. But, okay. Uh, so you just I, thought this was funny. It's the funniest video to me. Yeah. Let's watch it. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> His feet dangling. <laughs> Is this real? Yeah, they don't know that it's going to happen. This looks like acting. It doesn't look like acting. It looks like great acting if it's acting. Are you kidding? There's no way he's actually crying about this. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> I know it's stupid. There's literally no way. <laughs> That, that was real. I know it's from Clickhole, but it's by Clickhole if you want to look that up too. But <laughs> I think it's real. I've been fooled before, but either way. You're I, so gullible. I'm pretty gullible. That but man was not seriously crying I that think his it's bread real. was turned into a bread bowl. I think that was completely fake. No, I, I think no it's way. the funniest thing just to hurt <laughs> Baker's feelings. That doesn't make any sense Look though. it up. Why don't you click on that and see if there's comments? I'm gonna... Oh, you're looking at your phone. That makes more sense. You'll stink. I just like that they did it in front of them. Like it was like they were torturing their own, like their kid in front of them. Eight years ago. Oh yeah, it is eight years ago. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty on top of it. I can't tell if they're joking or if it's the worst day of their lives. <laughs> and those are the worst day of our lives. Give that man an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I've been avoiding this video for seven years. Today it finally caught up to me. <laughs> 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 What other comments have we got? Have we got? I'm not sure you can fake that level of heartbreak. Uh, I that agree. That is real, genuine displeasure on their faces. Uh, I agree. I think somebody's being sarcastic. <laughs> I agree. Well, I want the I want you guys to to watch it and write in, see if uh, see what you think, see if they're acting. I bought it. I think it's so funny. They're just watching their bread bowls get ripped apart in front of them. I like I how they picked out kids commenting on there. <laughs> this is definitely real. I think it's funny they ripped out the piece and just threw some in the garbage. I know I would have eaten it. Right? I love bread. At no point did they. I thought they were going to eat it too. I love bread and I want that Wonder Bread candle. <laughs> it was... smells like bread. Does it smell like bread? Yeah. Okay, I think we should get it then. And it just looks like a loaf of bread. You just put it somewhere funny. Yeah. That's so funny. It's really funny. So funny. Anyway, uh, I thought that was funny. Um, uh, we can we'll go talk about something else. What a grand waste of time. Not really. <laughs> Watch it. I've watched it a few times now. <laughs> I stand by it. Um, did you want to talk about what happened when you were looking up news? Can we talk about what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Want to talk about it? Sure. Okay. Sure. So we were we were looking up. We were doing like a. 
news thing. We're trying to like film a news thing for you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. Whenever. Yeah, that's what we were writing jokes for, and that's the ominous thing we were talking about at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Now you get to know. It's only for the real <laughs> for the diehard diehard fans. Yeah. Um, Listen to the end. Do we talk about the name? Tell the name. If you wanna, Go do you wanna it. reveal it? Yeah, let's reveal it. Week, day. I thought you were gonna say it. With oh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> week day news, news dump. dump. Yeah, it's called the, the weekday news dump. Yeah. And uh, it's a way for us to write fun jokes and then be able to put them out because we don't mm-hmm. like doing stand up comedy. Yeah, they ruined it. But <laughs> it's been fun watching you read news because you never know what is going on ever. Yeah. And it's cool for you to be like, do you hear what Biden did? <laughs> We've been together for a year and a half or a year and a year and a half now. Yeah, it's been a while. A little more than that, probably. But no. oh, no, I was thinking it's December. No, it's not. It's about a bit a year and a half. But yeah, I've never heard you say. I've never heard you say. You a Biden said? You a Trump said? <laughs> this is so funny. And I've been liking all of our silly, little, stupid little jokes that we've come up with. Mm-hmm. It's funny to me. So we're having fun. Um, but you were looking up. Uh, you were looking up was it CBC News. C C. What was the news thing you were looking up in the block? Oh, you? all all news. All news from Canada was blocked from like Instagram, right? Yeah. Yeah. So something happened a few weeks ago where there was an online streaming um, bill passed. Um, it's called BC eleven. Uh, bill, sorry, not B. Uh, bill C eleven, mm-hmm. um, and it was about basically trying to regulate content creators like us um, because we're unregulated right now, and they're wanting us to fall in line with how like um, CBC News and all those other like Canadian broadcasting stuff okay. align. They are forcing um, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook to um, show people local Canadian news first. Like, not local, but the Canadian news in, ahead of anyone else's local, like, like any U.S. YouTubers and all that stuff. They're trying to get Canadian contact to the top, but they're regulating it to be like, it's only clean content and it's only this stuff will have priority. So everything else that doesn't fall in line with like how CBC runs and cbc comedy runs and all that stuff it goes to the bottom and uh they're trying to f- they're they're regulating but you have to make over like they're also regulating some money part of it but you have to make over 10 million a year so that's basically us i don't understand what you're saying you don't understand what you're saying no none of that up? made any sense so they're, re- they're trying to regulate online streamers i don't know it enough i looked into this a while a few weeks ago and i forgot to bring it up but you got stopped from looking at news for some reason because Instagram has now, instead of trying to show you, show them. Yeah. So news, like CBC news, you're yeah. telling me I can look at that because it's what it's based off of there. there That was the, the hope for like YouTube and Instagram to start showing that, but it's so hard for their algorithms to go, okay, but if it's a Canadian person, try to find the best Canadian news for them and not show them other things around the world. like CBC News, I can't see. Yeah, I know. So instead, they were like, fine, we're just not going to show your stuff, I think, as as a retaliation to to this bill. I do not understand. Instagram's not showing it because they're mad at them? I think so. Okay. They said because of the new regulations, they're not really showing it. So I'm not sure if it's a retaliation um, or what's going on, but I know that... Canada Canadian government were trying to get them to change their algorithms to make Canadians see like local news stuff before anybody else. People in Canada can't see this content in response to Canadian government legis- legislation. News content can't be viewed in Canada. So that's what it says when you try to look up CBC news or pretty much any news in Canada. Yeah. Which is weird because when I just on Instagram on Instagram, but when you're not on the app, I was looking at it fine, not on the app. Like, I, I was looking right. at the Instagram thing on just, like, because I'm an old man, I would go into Safari. Yeah. <laughs> and then type in Instagram, CBC, and then it would bring 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 it up. So, I don't know why that's working right. for me. Yeah, I don't know. It says that, like, on everything, like, global news says that, mm-hmm. like, you're not allowed to look at news, period. Yeah. BBC News. So, they just, they just don't like, like, the podcasters, YouTubers are, like, the Wild West. And it's like a new thing. They're trying to regulate them. Mm -hmm. Like they're on national television. And so people who are swearing or or they don't like, let's say we make an LGBTQ joke. That's just silly. Mm -hmm. Well, we might be labeled as anti 
gay or whatever, right. <laughs> like gay dudes and uh, Envy, you know, brought down our, our stuff not seen. I don't think our stuff getting seen much anyway. But if it's you're funny over... that anti-gay, because you can say anti is anti. Yeah. It's like anti-gay, anti-gay's home. Anti-gay's home, yeah. <laughs> Somebody has an anti-gay. Someone definitely has got an anti-gay. I knew a lady named Gay. Was she an anti? No, her name was Gaetano, and she went by Gay. She was a paramedic. She's not an anti? Not, I'm sure she was an anti. She was an old lady, so I'm sure she was lots of things. Um, but the first time I met her... Uh, I was, I was like, cause she went by gay. We were like, oh, gay's working tonight. Gay's working. So everyone's yeah, I had fine a boss calling named her gay. gay. Really? Yeah. Oh, anyway, I went and I went, oh, I heard you're gay. <laughs> and then she went, no, and I went, your name's not gay. And she's like, oh yeah, my name's gay. And I was like, come on, man. You couldn't you're have made na- that jump. I, really? Yeah, but you could, yeah, exactly. You couldn't, you could just help me out there. I'm not being like, hey, heard you're fag. Like, I didn't say that. <laughs> I was like, hey, aren't you gay? Like, just like I'll be like, hey, aren't you Riley? Like that's how I say their names. Yeah. Anyway, she looked offended, and I was like, I had to pull myself out of that that hole. That's a bitch. Yeah. Also, aren't you gay? <laughs> aren't you freaking gay, bro? <laughs> yeah, my boss's name was Gay. Mm. So nice. Pretty she gay. Was a bad paramedic. Hopefully, she doesn't listen to this. Bad boss. <laughs> All gays are bad at something. <laughs> I don't think I think it's okay because I'm not saying her name and and they don't know where she works. I think she's not a paramedic anymore. You're not saying her name. I said gay. I said Gaetano, <laughs> I guess. But I, they didn't say the last name. Uh, but how many point... Gaetanos are there in the world? <laughs> That's true. Can I say what happened once? Yeah. At one point, um, she was an old. As girl. if I'm like like you're allowing me legally. You're like yeah, I'll let this. Pass. I'm your lawyer. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, at one point, she was going over top of a patient. And she was just yelling, what's, what's, I shouldn't do the accent, (laughs) but she's like, what's wrong? What's hurting? What's wrong? What's hurting? Just yelling at the patient who is unconscious. And, uh, her partner later told me, he's like, I was just hearing, I was trying to write down information because she was just talking to this guy. And I realized he wasn't talking back and she was just kept yelling, what's wrong? What's hurting? And he lay down beside her, not lay down, he didn't lay down beside the patient. (laughs) Um, he he went beside the patient and checked his pulse and he was dead. And she's like, I'm going to start CPR. Oh my god! Yeah, so pretty gay. Pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when yeah, we say things are gay, we were referring to the bad paramedic and the bad boss that yeah, we had. Yeah, that, that's it's so very, gay. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's very gay. Like of, oh, it's so Sam. That's so Sam. It's very gay. That's so gay. Yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you're wondering. If you were curious. If the new bill is wondering, if the new uh, legislation is wondering what that meant. It's crazy that Instagram's like, you're not allowed to look at news. Yeah. So I think it's just like, oh yeah. Do you know what's actually easier? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no more news. <laughs> no more news for anybody. Uh, but yeah, they're trying to change YouTube. So it's not like, like what you actually want to see is what they're going to give you. They're like, no, but they're not watching our stuff. So you should make I'm our stuff better. I'm still not going to watch it. I know. I'm just going to search I hate better. watching YouTube news. Yeah, I don't like when it gives me a whole line that's like the news that you should watch. Yeah. It says like recommended to you and there's like news. Except for our I, news. And I skip it. Except for our news. It's yeah, silly news. news. It's just funny. It's going to be silly news. It's all funny. All fun and games. And also, if you, if you haven't joined the Patreon, which most of you haven't. <laughs> let's be honest let's uh, be honest we're gonna I think we're gonna post uh, some, uh, we're gonna post like bloopers on there yeah because we had a pretty fun time today we had a very fun time yeah we have like an hour's worth of bloopers we could probably split that up into two episodes yeah, it's, it's an hour Patreon long episodes. we're gonna get it into like yeah that's, that's a good idea our actual um, the actual YouTube video is gonna be like three minutes yeah <laughs> um, okay uh, let's just blow through this since we're coming up on let's time. just pow 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 through this um i thought it was funny i just wanted to uh, i'll end on the new segment and uh i just wanted to mention um i don't know what's going on with me and i used to be really observant over things but man do i not care about my surroundings anymore yeah because like when i was in the army i was like i was going to be a sniper and i was i'm going to see whatever i i have to remember everything and all this stuff i don't freaking notice shit anymore yeah and there's two things i was thinking about was i was at my kid's daycare and they have a tree they had a tree in the middle of their in her daycare um in their just the room Mm -hmm. and i was talking to the daycare worker and i was like oh i really like your guys new tree and she's like that's been there for like a year 
Hmm. You see it every day. And I was That's like, funny. are you sure? Did you move it to the middle? <laughs> and she's like, no, <laughs> it's in the middle of the room. Yeah. And then, yes, not yesterday, on Sunday, we were at daycare. We were at um, gymnastics. Right. <laughs> I think we were half an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes in. Mm-hmm. And I went, when did they put a bouncy castle in the middle of the of the gym mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're like they inflated it right when we got here yeah and kids have been jumping on it for a while yeah i was like that thing sprung up out of nowhere <laughs> yeah and it was mentioned right at the beginning who was mentioned the bouncy castle steph, who mentioned it steph was like oh they're blowing up a bouncy castle they have a bouncy castle this time and you were i think you were like yeah oh my god i'm the worst like, at you just answer out. things without listening i <laughs> Yeah, I do. Yep. And I go, did you, like, I, I know. So I go, did you hear what I said? And you're like, no. I did not. I did not. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, so I'm getting old. I had to ask you to turn on a light the other day because I just couldn't see in the dim light. No, you asked me to turn on a different light because <laughs> a you specific didn't light. like <laughs> I went, Not light. that light. I need a light right in front I of me. I can't see with that light. It's too oh, dim. Okay. It's too dim. It makes me my eyes hurt. It's the same brightness. I'm so old right it's now. It's just a light. It's crazy. It's, cr- it's freaking crazy, bro. And before we go, we can wrap it up and slap it up. But do you before wanna- I go. <laughs> Do I want to what? Oh, my God. I think we're done. Do I want to what? Do you want to give an update on your Botox and your headaches? Oh, yeah. It's fine. You you have some headaches now? I'm fine again. You're fine again? Today I was fine. That's great. No headaches today. Okay. All right. It's touch and go. They said it'd take two weeks, so I'm waiting two weeks. We're waiting two weeks, everybody. Okay. That's it. Check it out. Check it out. Want to wrap it up and slap it up? Check it out. I'm kind of hungry again. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up and slap it up. Riley's gone. Um, this has been Sam and Rye Do, do talking. talking. I'm, I'm Sam. Sam. She's, she's Rye. And we're done and we're talking. we're done talking. Love you. Love you. Take it away, Mel. Bye. Bye. Take it away, Mel. Take it away, Mel. Take it away, Mom. Take it away, Mom. Take it away, Mom. Take it away, Mom. Everybody Ooh. loved your podcast this week. Everybody. <laughs> That's so great. Good reviews. <laughs> Yeah, getting good reviews. <laughs> We're at Sam and Rye do things at everything.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Gmail, Instagram, text message if you know us, Patreon, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Email us at Sam and Rye do things. Dot, dot, gmail. I don't know. <laughs> All right.